are projects like this important to the state of South Carolina in terms of counties that raise their own money to build their roadways that are basically state highways? They are, and uh, because we're so underfunded as a state agency, the um, solution was to form an infrastructure bank and partner with the local communities. And uh, Charleston is not the only county that has a local option sales tax. And everywhere that we have had one approved by the voters, when it expired, it's been renewed at their own initiative. So it's the only way we can get important projects like Johnny Dodd's built because right now the funds that we have are going into the maintenance of the existing system. We call it fix it first. Now, we haven't had a raise or an increase in the gasoline tax for quite a while, and other states have increased theirs, and that's what builds roads. Do you expect it, or is this not the uh, environment or the time for that right now? Well, the, the truthful answer is the environment's not right, but um, we need to do something about that. We're the lowest in the nation, and um, we have uh, stretched our resources to the point where we can't stretch them anymore. So uh, sooner or later, the people who use the roads and bridges are going to have to help pay for them. We've built quite a few roads in Charleston County, and we've also uh, built some well, we call them allocations projects, resurfacing, sidewalks, bicycle uh, trails, and that kind of thing. Do you encourage that kind of thing, like uh, complete streets? Well, we do, and um, of course we are putting a lot of emphasis now on enhancements and sidewalks. A lot of our um, stimulus funding from the federal government last year went into those type projects. Also, bicycles are getting a lot more attention now, because if we can get people to walk to work or ride bicycles to work, we have a much more healthy population, as well as taking cars off the road with less congestion and less pollution. Do you think that at some point we'll need a regional transportation system where we can tie communities together? Well, that's critical as if we're going to progress as a um, state and as a nation that we do that. And of course, you know, it, it, there's a history in America of just everybody driving his own car, and sooner or later that's going to have to change. Do you see rail systems in the future? Um, rail requires uh, not only the right-of-ways for the um, passenger trains, but it also requires uh, uh, funding, and, and that is something that's uh, very much in the forefront in the federal government right now. Florida's got a, a passenger rail system going in now if they can, you know, continue to fund it. I am. Um, we have just formed an intermodal department at DOT, and I have a blue ribbon committee that I've appointed that will be meeting next week for the first time. Seven citizens from across the state with backgrounds in transportation. And that is going to be the first thing they look at is freight rail, uh, dual access to the port here, and passenger rail. We just got a $4 million grant from the federal government, and we're working on a uh, uh, transportation system that leaves Raleigh, North Carolina, stops in Greenville, and winds up in Atlanta as an alternative to you driving your own car or flying. Sea funds, how are we doing in that area? Are they getting any better? Uh, no. Sea funds are based on the gas tax, and uh, it's been the same for the last 20 years, and the counties need more. So any gas tax that's ever approved, I'm going to recommend that the, um, a portion of it go to the counties. While the projects are being built here in Charleston and other places, there's this need for maintenance. And so when there's a new road that goes up, so is there a problem or an issue as regards maintenance. So how are we going to maintain all of these roads? Well, we just got to have, we, we've stretched our uh, resources as far as we can, and we've cut costs as much as we can. So we're going to have to have additional sources of income from somewhere. And that's why the uh, RoadWise Half Cent Sales Tax Project is so important, because our citizens are now getting transportation infrastructure that they need that they would not have been able to do without this partnership between the state and the local community. Would you encourage all counties around South Carolina to have a, a half cent sales tax or a full penny? Well, most of them have a penny, but Charleston is so large that it's producing almost a billion dollars. And uh, th these projects are being taken on by the county in a very thoughtful way in full partnership with the DOT. So I think a lot of the counties are figuring it out that this is the best way to get something done is to, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Thank you, sir.